We are talking about a little bit of a warm up that comes in over the next day or so. Rain is ahead with it and more cold air floods in right behind it. 25 right now in Grand Blanc, 24 in Durand and Elma. You've got 20s through the Tri-Cities and even into the Thumb, but the teens on up to the north. And it's going to stay pretty chilly. 36 for your high across the southern counties today. Partly cloudy, a little cooler for the Tri-Cities and the Thumb. 35 for your high, but here's the deal. Normally, we're at 47. That's our average, but this wind, this east-northeast breeze is going to continue to bring cold air into the Thumb. So watch for a cooler temperature today and even more tonight. But 34 for your high for the northern counties. Still watching for those partly cloudy skies. Now tonight, 14 for your low, mostly clear. So it's going to be a gorgeous night, but areas in the Thumb could get down to about 9 degrees or so, so into the single digits and even that light breeze brings wind chills down very chilly. Now uh, Chicago is going to continue to get slammed over the next few hours. We won't have to worry about that. Just cloud cover for us and you can see how it's kind of clear there. That's high pressure continuing to push it down and stopping any of that from coming in our direction. Uh, we're going to continue with the cloud cover though until we get into the late portions of the overnight and then we clear right on up. We drop in temperature and we start off sunny tomorrow morning. So it's going to be great. It's going to stay beautiful during the day tomorrow. We're looking at 40s for our highs. Rain, however, like you saw there just briefly at the end, it's going to slowly start to come in our direction and it's going to move in and it's going to stay for a couple days. Watching for possible mix on Tuesday night after the bright sunshine. That looks pretty good. Rain sticks around all the way through the day Wednesday. 55 for your high there. Then we drop again back into the mid 40s on Thursday, 30s on Friday and Saturday, and then back to the 40s as we go into Sunday. We're going to watch for some of that cool air to continue and hopefully by the time we get into next weekend, we can move in some long term warmth. That's my hope anyway, guys, and uh, I know you guys I know you guys really, really, really want to see some of that uh, warm air by the time we get into next weekend because you've been telling me all morning you want the spring to finally stick around, but uh, it's going to be a little while still.